once you have started with the high initial demand, then you are likely to be confronted with objections and requests and demands from your opponents that will uh, ask you to soften your position, to, uh, to make concessions. And it can be tempting to find uh, a compromise at that stage, uh, but it's too early. Because if uh, after presenting your offer, you show that you're willing to uh, soften your position and to make concession, it gives your opponent the impression that the harder they will push, the more they will get. So you're, you're weakening your, your, in fact, your, your, uh, your position as a negotiator. So what you have to do, this is a golden rule number two, is to defend your position as long as you can, uh, to stick to your initial uh, position, to, to use rationale to justify that your offer was really um, serious and, and, uh, and relevant, so that you weaken your opponent's position and you lower their aspirations. This is the golden rule number two. Um, and you must do that as long as you can before moving on to the golden rule number three. Then uh, the golden rule number three is that you should not make any concession without getting something in return. Why is it so important? Because um, if you make concessions without asking for something in return, uh, the person you're negotiating with will try to get even more and more and more and will never be uh, satisfied or never be certain that they have done a good negotiation. If you uh, put a condition, I mean, if you want something in return for conceding, uh, you stabilize the negotiation much more. And uh, furthermore, you have uh, also the possibility of um, creating a win-win agreement. What um, does it mean? It means that you are trying to, to concede on things that don't cost too much to you, but that represent a great value for uh, your partner, and you try to get in return things that don't cost too much uh, for your partner, but that may be very important uh, to you. This makes a win-win um, negotiation. So this is a, um, another reason for applying this golden rule number three. Um, a key aspect is that you have to get prepared. Uh, it means setting a list of the potential concessions you might be uh, in a position to make, but also a list, a list of concessions that you could look for uh, from your opponent. So uh, these two rules are uh, very important. Rule number two, when confronted by a, 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 a demand, stick to your position first, defend your position as long as you can, and then golden rule number three, don't make any concession without getting something in return.